another Photoshop tutorial. Now, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to do a face swap. We're going to get Brad Pitt's face here. We're going to swap it over with George Clooney's face. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to put Brad Pitt's face onto George Clooney's body. I know it doesn't sound right, it should be the way around to make him look younger, but let's just go getting straight into it. First of all, we're going to catch the lasso tool. In case you don't know anything about it, there it is here. Let me screw it again, zoom in, there it is, that's our tool. Select that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go trace around Brad Pitt's face. Going to go right down to his neck as well. Probably not going to use all this, but anyway, that's what we're going to do. Going to go up to edit, up the top here, and copy. Now go to the George Clooney picture, edit. And paste, and we've got the picture of Brad Pitt sitting there. We can get rid of Brad Pitt now. Now, we go up here to what they call the Move tool. This one, that's the one you want. Don't want the other one. And then basically what happens is that you click on the image and look what happens. You can move him anywhere you like. If you want to move the whole entire image, both pictures together, like you know, the you got the layers here, you got one layer selected, the other layer, whatever it is. If you want to move them all, you hold down the spacebar key. You see how he's got the hand that comes up, and you can move the whole entire image as one. So that's just an important thing to remember when you're working with Photoshop. It's with any version of Photoshop. So we're going to stick to Brad Pitt here now at the moment. Now, George Clooney is quite uh, crystal clear, sharp there, whereas Brad Pitt's not, a little bit blurred. So we're going to go up to Filter. And we're going to go down to Sharpen. We're not going to go for all these bits and pieces and all this. We just want normal Sharpen. That'll do us. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now he's pretty straightforward looking. Now, already starting to look like it, isn't it? <laughs> now, what I do, zoom in. Now, the background image here, what we're going to do on the left-hand side of these layers, you got the eye. Um, you click the eye, but see how the eye goes off? It means you can't see. Click the eye on, you can see it. Okay? You can do that with any layer. You can even do it with Brad Pitt. There you go. There's nothing there. So we're going to go back to the Brad Pitt one, select the layer. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to zoom in around the background image area here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the eraser tool which is here. <clears throat> yeah, we've got a little bit of an uh, illustrated idea here of what's going on. Um, if you hold it down, if you click on it and hold down, you get the options of different types of eraser tools that you want. I'm not going to go into all the other ones because they're pretty in-depth detailed, really high-end stuff, and we don't want to know what it is at this stage. Just get the ordinary eraser tool, the normal one. Hold down the space bar. See the hand coming up? And move the image. Now, what I'm going to do, as soon as I start clicking on it, see, it's too big. So what we're going to do, we're going to go edit, undo eraser. We're going to go over to our windows sections on the right here, and we want brush settings. If you haven't got brush settings coming up, you go to window, and you can just go brush settings, brushes, you can click on it, whatever what it is. And see how the little tick comes up? It comes up with all different things there, like layers, um, brushes. We want brush settings. We don't want brushes. We want brush settings. Okay, the brush settings, that's the one I'm using. On the right here, you've got all the brush settings. So you've got the size. You can just use a slider. Or you want to use, type in there. You can type in a numerical number. Um, so you can change all different things. So you can change the shape of it, because down here it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. So it gives you an idea. So I'm just going to go back down. That's what we need. Something small, something not too hard, nice and soft. And I'm just going to trace around Brad Pitt's face here. Zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, the reason why I took the background out is because when you've got the background there, look, I put the background on. It's a little bit too much stuff to worry about in the background and blood type of stuff. So I usually just turn that off. 
So turning that off and just going along like this with the eraser tool and we'll just go really quick to this part because it's quite boring. Keep on using the space bar when you're moving the image around and just go like that. Okay, so we're just going to go really fast with this part. Hi guys! Quite easy. Just another thing while we're doing this, uh, if you want to rotate the image at all, at any time you want to rotate the image just so that you can get a good arc when you're drawing or whatever you're doing, like the raising. Because we go like this, you know, you get like this. It's just, you don't want that. So what you do, the rotate the whole screen, the whole image, you hold in the R key, and straight away you've got this little arrow thing that comes up, tells you which way you want to go. Just move the cursor to the left or the right. And you come up to that little compass in the middle. So we'll go back to zooming in, and we'll continue again. Okay guys, now we've got that part. Now uh, we're going to click on the George Clooney picture on the background. We're just going to go to the left hand side of the layer, put the eye so we can see. And the good thing about this now is that the Brad Pitt layer, we'll just select it. Make sure we haven't got selected the back one, we're selecting that one. As you can see here, we've missed some bits and pieces. So what we're going to have to do, go back to the eraser tool again, and just got to go around and just clean that up, especially the edges like that around Brad Pitt's face. He's got a very wide jawline there, very distinctive. So that's got to be shown here in this image. I'm just going to zoom in and get rid of some more of that area with the eraser tool. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just get rid of that white background that's behind him. Because we don't need that when we're going to merge these two photos together. We want it to say crystal clear around the edges. Now see, this is why I get rid of the background. So now we've got George Clooney's here in the background, plus Brad Pitt's here. But anyway, we're just going to merge it like that. And the good thing is with these two photos, it's good to get a, a reference material. It's good to get something that's very similar in opacity and colour and all that lightness and all this type of stuff. Um, especially when you deal with the celebrity photos, I mean, a lot of them get done, photos taken, put on the internet, whatever the case may be, with um, good quality photo um, lenses and stuff like that. And a lot of the time, it's um, it's the same resolution and everything else as each photo. Um, just going to go around his hairline here a little bit more in detail. I'm just doing this because it's a tutorial, um, but if you're doing this, you know, and you really want to, Spend some time on it, yeah, well, it means just going into real a lot of detail doing all this sort of stuff. 
but just because it's a cute toy, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Okay, so I'm just zooming out again. Now we've got George Clooney in the background there. Right, you know, Brad Pitt's face is a bit ooh, big. So what we're going to do, we're just going to bring it down so it matches. Uh, good rule of thumb. Um, on the when you're doing something like this, you take the opacity up here back onto the layers. You got the opacity. You know, next to the opacity word, there's a hundred percent. With the slider, you click on it and you slide it down, and see it becomes transparent. And the good thing about that is that you can now, I can now move it around and line up his eyes. That's that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to line up his eyes. Um, if you can line up the eyes, it gives you a good rule of thumb, and the rest of the face is in a good position. Um, like your camera's taken at the right angle, not, not above, not below, up the side. It's pretty much, you know, a straight on photo. You've got no problems. So I'm just going to see the eyes, how they're not matching up. So we've got the transformation tool here. On the top of the transformation tool, we've got the little arrow going left, right, left and right. But you click on that, and then you can just move the cursor to the left or the right. And that way, you can actually move it into position. Just hit return. And Bob your uncle, so to speak. Now he looks really weird like that, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, okay. Now, what have we got here? Okay, now I'm just going to zoom back in. I've done a space car, space bar, and move the image around. Now, I'm just going to line him up so that it's pretty much the same type of face. Now, we're going to change the opacity and put it back up to 100%. Now, because I've lined up his eyes, it looks really, really weird. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to do this differently. I'm just going to look at the focus here on the neckline. Bring it down a bit more. And I think we're pretty much, that looks more realistic, I would say. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the eraser tool again. Same thickness and everything else. Um, just Actually, I might get a little bit bigger. It's already nice and soft. It's going to go around the bottom of Brad Pitt's jawline here so it blends in more. I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, his neckline, not his jawline. I'm get rid of that shadow as well, I think. I uh, shouldn't be getting rid of that shadow because it looks like he's got a thick neck, I think. Anyway, well, let's see how we go with this, hey? Let's see how we go. So I haven't let go of the razor tool when I was doing that, which is a bad thing. Um, when you do something in Photoshop, you should just let go, do it, and let go, do it, press the arm, do it, and let go. That way, if you have a mistake, you can just go backspace, 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 whatever the case may be. Okay, now that looks pretty much good. Now, I go back to the background of George Clooney. Now, we're lucky here we didn't have to change opacity and the levels and all the colors and all that type of stuff. We're very lucky with this image. On the left hand side here, we've got what they call the clone tool. There it is there. Hold the, you put your cursor over that and click down, hold down, and it comes up with the options. We don't want this pattern, so we want the clone stamp tool. All right. Now, I'm just going to use the space bar to move it across. See here, we've got George Clooney's ear and his hair. We want to get rid of that. So, what we're going to do with the clone tool, we're going to hold down the option key. And see straight away it targets an area. What we're going to do is going to duplicate whatever this is here, and wherever you click, it's going to go straight into there. So if you're going to say, if I do this this dark line part, because it's a little bit dark there, we're going to click on there, and then I start here, start drawing. Look at that magic! How good is that? So that gives you an idea of what's going on there. All right, I hold down the space bar, I can move the image up. I'm going to do the same thing again. Hold down the option key. I'm going to sample that area, that color there. And I'm going to do it again here. Okay, now we're just going to zoom back out. Now, as you can see with Brad Pitt, We've got 
problem with we just want to click Brad Pitt slower. I'm going to zoom back in. Use the eraser tool. And we're just going to erase that white. It seems to be sticking out all the time. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're doing here. Uh, don't forget I'm using the space bar, holding that down every time I'm moving a bit of the cursor. And I'm just rubbing all this out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back to zoom out. See how we're going. Our Brad Pitt looks like a debonair, <laughs> suave, older man. Um, now, with the edges, what you can do, is you can go to the Magic Wand tool, select the backgrounds, and you can go out to Blur. Uh, you get all the different types of blurs here in your filters. Caucasian blur. Uh, Caucasian blur. Anyway, so that does that. And then hit. No, we'll just go back to the lasso tool and click, click that. So basically, what that's done, it's just blurred that sharp image on the background. Um, now, I'm just going to get back to the George Clooney one again. We're going to get the clone stamp tool. Option key right there. We're going to sample that area right there. Go back to the Brad Pitt one, get the eraser tool, and we're going to erase that little area there. Now I'm going into a fair bit of detail here. Now to zoom in and out, obviously you just use the zoom tool. Um, you just zoom with the plus. You're going to zoom out, hold in the option key, it zooms out. So basically, guys, that's how you do a face swap in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.